man in the city! Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, it's Godan. So, we have a lot to cover, and I've been mulling over this video for a few days, and I apologize, I'm not putting videos out as quickly as I would like, but if you know who I am, you know what I do for a profession, I work for the United States Postal Service, and it's the busiest time of the year, and I've been choosing to spend time holding my wife instead of my phone, and being with my children. And I know that you guys may feel the same way. There's a lot going on in DOT, but there's a lot going on in real life too. I really appreciated everyone's concerns for my safety, my family's safety, for my neighbor's safety, for our home, and also for my wife being uh, not bit by those dogs and my letter carrier as well. It has been crazy. Let me explain. No, there is too much. Let me sum up. This was a post on Facebook. It asks, what's your pastime during server errors? Looks like they're here to stay. Well, we know there's been quite a few server errors. Why? We don't know why, but we know we're having them. The system just can't handle Dawn of Titans. But I really appreciated this comment here. Now, it gave quite a few people a chuckle. But Carlos says he started talking with these people next to me. They claim to be my wife and kids. Let's be sure to put everything into perspective and not forget about our loved ones. They're more important in this game. And I gotta tell you, I've been too tired to grind away. I've been appreciating and enjoying my sleep. But I'm going to do all I can for the DOT community to stay on top of my video making and keeping you aware of what's going on. So this is a second part of a three-part series. And let me tell you what's up. Well, as we all know, we just finished the conquest. I only got to level 7. I didn't spend anything. Could have, but didn't. I still have my level 1 Krampus. And now the Eternal Shrine, if you haven't built it, build it. It gives divine gems. We just don't know how many and how often. And we also had the 3 year anniversary, the global milestone. 3rd anniversary giveaway gift. We have to earn a Titan by having 10 million battles completed within this week by all of us now typically we can do this easily i'm going to try to do my share but i can only do so much and when we hit that global milestone mark we're going to get one token for the anniversary altar an opportunity a chance to get a guaranteed four star but who knows what we're going to get well there's been a lot of talk about a new titan coming up so let's take a look at one person's idea of what we may be getting. Now this idea is from Dan Dex. Thank you so much, Dan. It says, it is my guess that the next feature Titan will be Corthan 3.0. My reasons, the recent physical toe, the live stream also, someone making a return and also said, it is not Zeus. Now those are the comments from the developers, but Don slipped when he commented on a player's guess that it's Amaran, saying that's close. And they mentioned that it ties into the lore. The thing is, one of the biggest characters in DLT lore that has not been mentioned in the new or recent introductions of the Dot lore, the Titan King himself, Corthan. Kind of like a movie where a superhero makes a big surprise entrance. But it could be the Minotaur, Siegfried, Valorn. But we're not sure how that ties into the recent lore. A reskilled Korthan, excuse me, Koldan, Dracor, Astroth, etc. fits the current meta. So Korthan 3.0. 2.0 had a good lifespan right there for a minute. But a 3.0 may be awesome. Even Prometheo says there's a theory out there that all the physical stuff we have seen in recent events... It was building up to the Anniversary Titan. Hey, there might be something to this. And if you haven't checked out Prometheo's channel, please do. 
Now I had said this is part two of a three part series of videos. The first part was about Broomhilda. I can't do nothing with her. But Cerberus took care of business. Sometimes you just need a beer. But all in all, fusion. What's important and what isn't. Be mindful of what you do and what you want. Titans that had been old seem to have a new life to them. Some that have been underrated are really good. As with Cerberus, he's a great Titan, a great attacker. Now here's a great breakdown talking about Titans. Two Titans in particular, Ladega and Artemis. They're both Titans with solid skills and each has his own use. Artemis, for example, is better when you need to bypass frontline troops. Versus Horde, however, Ladega is the choice. Omegas are not needed versus the Horde, and the increased damage makes a difference in his opinion. Now this is from Hermit Bill, and I appreciate this breakdown. And thank you, Hermit Bill, for letting me share this. You put it in such a manner, you use the words that are just perfect for the situation. All Titans are not obsolete. They have their distinct purposes. And in this case, when it considers Ladega and Artemis, they are not the same build though. Artemis has more critical where Ladega has nearly twice as much base damage. You can't put the same relics on both, then try to do an apples to apple comparison. Again, you cannot put the same relics on both of them and try to hit the same battle. In most cases with Artemis, you'll focus less on critical and can utilize more damage in armor piercing relics. But with Ladega, you'll likely end up with slightly less armor piercing than Artemis in order to max out your critical, which in turn will result in a greater damage than what you're likely to get with Artemis. So understanding this, each Titan is important. And if you don't have the perfect Titan, you have a Titan that you can use. And let me show you what I mean. Mitano, right? Mitano is an outdated Titan, but mine has Void Resistance. And I don't have any Titan, any other Titan that has Void Resistance cast. So am I just going to cast them aside? No. I'm going to max them out. Where Bass can't win, maybe Mitano's cats can. It's worth a shot. Don't you think? I think so. He may not be Ladega or Artemis, but his cats can have resistance for multiple elements. And that's a bonus. That's a plus. So those weren't the only Titans that I worked on. I was smart. At least I think I had a plan. I worked on something almost from every class. Again, not to show off, not to brag, but to help people strategize, especially anyone new. I focused on Mitano, got him to 42, and that was about it for the Guardian class. Couldn't do more. Wanted to, but couldn't. Yeah, I had a few straggler one or two stars left over, or level one, or excuse me, one star or two star titans left over, but I didn't have the food. When it comes to the fusion event, if you're not glitched out on the resources, you've got a raid, and I had a raid. I had to keep getting food so I can do some, uh, Fusions. Astaroth 2.0, he was the next Titan that I worked on. Very pleased. But as for the champion class, I could not get to anyone. Just couldn't force myself to do any more, any more raiding for resources. Nothing in the infiltrated class either. But as you saw, Cerberus. If you have him, level him up. His archers go a long way. And of course, a set. I'm sure everyone threw a lot of Titans into her. Couldn't max her out, but I got her as close as I could. So I'm stoked. Looking forward to another war. But now we have another event. The Solar War, Ironclad. They consider this physical relics. We got a new relic. Now we know we already maxed out on most of our relic storages. And it can't be helped. This relic may be a good relic. But it brings us to mind, Infiltrators, as you saw, Mitano, excuse me, the Minotaur, gives a 1.2 boost. You'd think he'd give more with his relic, but he doesn't. 
And let me tell you, he doesn't. So I haven't even started this event. It's 13K for a new relic. Relic may be something that we need. It may be great on some of our Titans. But Spearhead at 8,000, that's a bonus. But how much are you willing to put into this event? Because we do have another one coming around the corner. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm going to think about it. But I want you to think about this. The Titans that you do have. What's worth keeping and what's not worth keeping? In the upcoming player showcase, I'm going to show you something that might hurt your feelings. So be prepared. But until then, as always, relax, enjoy, be balanced, have fun, and take care.